What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the 4.0 version of my follower system. It's a little bit different from my 3.0 system, so pay attention and I'm going to run through this as quickly as possible. First, make sure you have the Creator Companion and if you don't have the Creator Companion, a link to this plugin will be in the description, but if you do, then you can click on Manage Project and make sure you have Avatar's 3.0 Manager installed into your project. Once you have that installed, make sure you have downloaded the base system from my Gumroad and you install the base system Unity package, which should be MSAGE's follower system version 4.0. Then import those files. Then you're going to need to import the Unity package for the pet. So in this case, we're going to be installing the Unity package for the mountable rideable dragon. And that will also show you how to install mountables. Once you have both Unity packages installed into your project, now we can go ahead and start installing the system. Now, you should have the Avatar 3.0 Manager installed. And in order to find that, you should click at the top where it says VR Labs and click on Avatar 3.0 Manager. It'll open this tab and then go ahead and click and drag your avatar to the avatar slot in the AV3 Manager tab. Then you click on the FX Layer tab and you click on Add Animator to Merge. The animator that you want to merge is the Pet.FX Layer. You go ahead and click and drag that here and make sure all of these are blank and you click on Merge to Current. Now there's three parameters that we're going to want to have on our Expressions Parameters menu you want to click on pet.int, pet.cam, and pet.cam.fov. And the only parameter that needs to be synced is the first one. Do not sync the other two. Now that we have that installed, we need to actually have the pet menu on our avatar. So we go ahead and go to our expressions menu that's on our avatar. Make sure you click on add control and then change the new controls name to pet menu you can name it whatever you want but pet, pet menu makes the most sense then you click on button and change that to sub menu and the sub menu we're looking for is the pet menu right here so now in game you can control your pet and or you can control the different settings and stuff that the pet has and you now have the system installed onto your avatar now to install a specific pet this is the part that will differ for each and every pet, but it will be generally exactly the same. You need to go back to the AV3 Manager tab and click on Add Animator to Merge. And you need to merge on the animator layer or the FX layer that comes with the pet that you've bought. In this case, the Rideable Dragon has the pet.rideabledragon.fx layer. And you click and drag this onto the animator to merge and make sure all of these uh, parameter states are blank. And you wanna click on merge to current. And what that does is it adds the animations to your FX layer. Now the pet will be animated when it goes to its different states. Now that we have the FX layer added to our avatar, we have the system added to our avatar, now we need to add the actual pet to our avatar. In order to do that, you go to your prefabs, then you go to the, the follower pet prefab that comes with your pet package, click and drag that to the open hierarchy, make sure it's in the open hierarchy, then click and drag it to the avatar like so. Then we need to go into the pet, click on pet settings, open that up, and then you'll see pet location. This is the only way you are able to move the pet. Do not move it any other way. See, now I can move the pet left and right, forward and back. I can make it float if I wanted to, but I don't want it to float. I want it to be down here. Now, click on pet scale and you can change the scale of the pet. If you feel it's too small, you can scale it big. If you feel it's too big, you can scale it small. You know, right here is about a good size for uh, this particular avatar. I think that's perfect. Now, I click on pet station point. This will defer for every single pet um, for this particular pet, it needs to be stationed to the hips. All rideable pets usually have to be stationed to the hips. 
Right here, you'll see parent constraint, set the source to your avatar's hip bone. Then you go into that and click on final station point location. For multiple pets, you really want this to be on the floor, but it doesn't really matter too much, but that would be the best thing for you to do is to put it on the floor. And then you see pet camera player aim. This is where the uh, player target camera from the pet will target. And you want to put this maybe somewhere in front. For this pet being it's a mountable, uh, just want to put it here. It will be connected to whatever the station point is connected to. So here's good. And that should be it. There shouldn't be anything else you need for the pet. You can change material settings and uh, uh, textures and stuff through the pet meshes tab. You click on pet body, you can change all that here. Um, and one more thing, make sure that right default is turned on for everything within your FX layer. It has to be turned on for the FX layer for this version of the system. And in the future, I may come out with a version that works for right defaults being turned off. But for now, you have to have right defaults turned on, except for when you have a gesture layer. When you have a gesture layer, the gesture layer has to have right defaults turned off. I promise you, turning off right defaults for your gesture layer won't break anything if you made your gesture layer correctly. Gesture layer needs to have right defaults turned off. FX layer needs to have right defaults turned on. And with that being said, that should be the tutorial. You should be ready to upload your avatar with your pet. And if you have any, squ any questions, you are welcome to message me on Discord, and I will be more than happy to help you with any kind of assistance that you need. With that being said, if you enjoyed enjoyed today's tutorial, go ahead and leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to become part of the homie family, then go ahead and do so. And I will see you guys later. Peace and much love. That you never be lonely. Need a fan, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely.